Want to see something cool? If electricity in a coil creates a magnetic field, and a coil in a magnetic field generates electricity, if we put electricity into coil A, and put coil B into a field from coil A, can we get electricity out of coil B? Let's science this shit! I've got coil A connected to our battery, and we can use Fox to see that we've got a magnetic field happening. Did you know you can do this with your phone? I want to give a shout out to the incredible team. Sebastian, Christoph, Hydrin, Dominic, Dustin, Jens, Marcel, Edward, and Luke over at RT WH Aachen University who created an app called Fifox. It gives you huge amounts of sensor data from your phone and access to a fleet of science tools that would have cost more than a house and filled half a lab a generation ago. It's free! In your pocket! Right now! They don't pay me to say this, I genuinely love this app. Fifox.org. Get it! Get curious! Get exploring! Get smarter! You have the right to explain science! Now, let's connect a meter to coil B and slip it sensually inside of A and we get shit and shoved in it. Because we just got kicked in the Delta! Don't feel bad, it's not obvious as a Bluetooth cooter scooter, and this shit is so complicated that when Faraday discovered it, even he couldn't do the math to explain it. That's why all the equations have more of Maxwell's DNA in them than Catherine Dewar. Everything is easy in DC, but you can't do this with a magnetic field just laying there studying the ceiling like your bored girlfriend. Starfish! You got to move it, move it! That means either we're pulsing DC like in a car's ignition system, or we're alternating the current. This is why DC transformers are as rare as rocking horse manure. And that's pretty cool.